So once we have created our histogram, the next thing we'll do is that how to create a probability density function from histogram. Um, here you see uh, I have used the second option to create the histogram. So if you go from um, data tab in data analysis, you will get this um, histogram. The video is also um, in the link in the comment. So, um, so you know that we will get this one where these are the upper limit of each bean. These are the bean um, and these are the frequency that is generated from that um, data analysis option. Um, so now let's create our um, um, probability density function. So let's call it probability density function P uh, D F and um, we call it um, F function of X for each value of X. So how to find probability density function? This is easy. You have to just divide the each frequency. So how many data point per bean? So you see two here per bean. So two data point in each bean. So that is two divided by the total number of data. In our case, we have total um, 30 data points. So I'll just divide it by 30. And we also have to divide it, um, it, divide it with the width of the bean which means what is the width of each bean so it, this bean is from point 1.0 to 1.025 so you see they're increasing by 0 0.025 so my width is of each bean is 0 0.025 so i'll divide it by 0 0.025 uh there's one more zero and that's about it um so i'll just do it for um all of it and I got my function. Um, the quick check for this, if we can um, get it up to one. So we need the area under those bars. So I'll just have to sum. So what the sum will do, it'll just sum, sum will be the summation of all those data points. So here, and then I have to multiply with the um the width 0 0.025 and it creates one i mean so it an indication that we didn't miss any um rows so once we have that now you can plot um the probability density function so i just copied the histogram and i select a box and i said paste so it creates that um, now I have to change this right so you see um, the frequency from frequency in y-axis so I'll select my PD so now it is changed to PD and my bean is um, number is the same so I can pull it up over here um, I can also change it for, for this one the cumulative percentage um, I'll just change it to PD. So now the problem, a little bit of problem here is that the probability um, density function, the probability density function is normally plot against the mid value, mid, middle value of each bean. You know, this bean value that is generated from Excel is the upper limit for each bean. So we just have to find x mid value, which is pretty easy to find. I'll just have to select this one, the upper limit minus the half of the width. So 0 0.025 divided by two, and that will be uh, our mid value. And I can do it for rest of it. And um, all you have to do is select this one, and change this bean to x mid um, and also for this one change that from here to x mid and now it's just same just the middle value changed so you got the histogram plot and then now you got the probability density function plot 
Uh, next, we'll do a normal distribution plot. Thank you.